Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to show you how to put in your own data into this Google Fit dashboard that I built using Google Data Studio. I get a lot of questions on how to do this, so let's dive in and see how easy it is. So inside of Google Data Studio, you're going to have a report, which we just saw. But fueling those are data sources. And in the case of this Google Fit dashboard, there are three of them for activity, steps, and weight data. And typically, when you go to make a copy of this report, Data Studio is going to ask you, great, what data sources do you want to put in to fuel this new report? Now, you won't have these data sources yet. And that's what we're going to focus on making right now. So inside of Data Studio, the home page, you're going to want to navigate to the Data Sources tab here. And you're going to go all the way down here and click on this plus icon to start making a data source. And there are quite a few to connect to. And to make it easier, we're going to go into the search bar and type in Fit, scroll down, and choose the open source connectors Google Fit. Click Select. And data Studio is going to go, great, what data do you want from this connector? And we're going to start with Activity. Make sure you're logged into Data Studio with your Google account, which is linked to your Google Fit data. Otherwise, this is not going to work. Once you've done that, we click on Connect. Google Data Studio is going to confirm what data is inside. And you just want the defaults. Except for activity, we're going to quickly create a new calculator field because you probably don't want to deal in seconds of activity, more minutes. So to do that, it's very easy. You're going to go up here and click Add Field. I'm just going to create an equation. And we're going to call this, give it a name first. So we're going to call it Active time m for minutes. And now we're just going to sum up. Don't click on that to expand the brackets. We're going to sum active time divided by 60, 60 seconds in a minute. It's that easy. We've created it. We're going to click Save. And now we've connected your data source. But before we move on, you don't want three data sources with all the same name because it's going to get confusing. So just rename it here, just add a hyphen, and then just add in activity, and then your name. Okay, and now we've made a new data source. We're going to do the same thing for steps and weight, and I'll speed through that. But you'll click back here, data sources, plus, you get the idea, and now you don't need to add those, that calculated field, because there's no time data in that. Okay, great, now you have your three data sources ready to go in you're all ready to swap in my data with your data to create your own report. So let's see how you make that copy. And it's super easy. Essentially, you go to the dashboard, you go up here and click on this little icon which says make a copy of this report. And this is where you're going to get prompted. Now, there's actually four data sources, but don't worry about this sheets one. Just keep that as is. It just fuels a few of the icons. You care about these three. And now you click on new data source, and because you put your name in, super easy to find. We just have to make sure we make the corresponding ones appear. So wait, I'm going to choose wait. For activity, you guessed it. We're going to choose activity. And then the same for steps. So once you've done that, you click copy report. And we're nearly there, one more step. Because Data Studio will get a little bit confused uh, with the activity data source. So for the reports will actually break. So all you have to do is click here on each one. It'll say invalid metric. Just drag, click and drag and replace. And just do that for all four of the invalid metrics. And you will start to see all of the data will now come in exactly as you need. This is also edit mode, which you may not be familiar with. We have all the other options, but once you swapped out the invalid metric for the right one, you now have exactly what you need. You can click view and your data will now be inside the dashboard. It's your copy. You can bookmark it, put it on your phone, check it out when you're running. And that's it. You now have your data inside this dashboard. So you can keep track of how you're going with your activity, weight and number of steps. One final small tip is a new feature in Data Studio allows you to schedule an email to send to yourself. I actually have this set up every week. So essentially, you just choose your date and maybe you want it every Saturday and you can set the cadence. So I'm going to say every week, choose your time 
and then hit schedule. And now you get a nice email with the link to prompt you and give you a summary of how you're going every week. Super simple. I hope this helps you. And if it does, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much.